YouTube channel. My name is Krista for those of you guys who do not know. And today, as you guys can see from the title, I'm going to be filming another Get Ready With Me. So the last Get Ready I did, um, I think it was, oh, it was the, was it, I think it was a Going Back to School Get Ready With Me. Um, yeah, that was just like a basic like little makeup thingy and basic makeup is usually what I do So this is gonna be more along the lines of more basic makeup also But um, well, I'm actually debating how I'm gonna do this look I don't know if I'm gonna do like a thing I mean not a Thanksgiving if I'm gonna do like a um, Valentine's Day look because I did get I don't know if I put it inside of one of my other videos, but I did get my first like real real eyeshadow palette like i have a lot of eyeshadow palettes but they're not they're like just like little cheap ones that i have that like they don't they're not really having pigment to them or anything but this is like the first like real deal like eyeshadow palette i got because i want to like get into eyeshadow and learn how to do it because i don't know how to do it at all so i really want to like learn how to do it like the cute ways but i tried on this palette already i tried like off camera and it did not come out cute so <laughs> I don't know how it's gonna come out. I'm gonna like try if I feel like doing this. Like if I feel like I just want to keep like the little natural look, then I'll keep the natural look. But um, if I want to add this to it, then I'll do that. So we'll just see as the video goes on. You guys will see what I. Well, you guys will probably see by the thumbnail because I'm pretty sure on my thumbnail I'm gonna have either the glam look or the basic look. So um, it just depends. I just feel like doing my makeup and you know filming it because I like to do that. I like to feel myself doing my makeup and stuff so yeah but um basically i'm going to start i already moisturized my face i'll tell you guys what i moisturized with i um first this looks ugly don't talk about it but this is a little aloe vera plant i uh first put the aloe vera gel on there and um if you ever use fresh aloe vera plant you know do not get this in your mouth don't let it touch your lips because when you lick your lips or like anywhere just around your lips like if you lick it, it tastes like poison. It's disgusting. So, um, that's with fresh aloe vera plants. I don't have my gel anymore that didn't have any taste to it or any, like, type of feeling to it. This one is the real deal one, so it stinks. I mean, it's, yeah, it stinks and it tastes nasty. So, yeah, just a heads up on the fresh aloe vera plants if you're thinking about using one. So, then I like to tone with the Mario Badescu spray. And that just refreshes my face because after I wash my face, it tends to get really dry. Because I uh, wash my face with the um what do i use oh saint eyes and i use cetaphil one is a scrub and one is a regular face wash so it kind of like dries my skin out um but i mean it does clean my skin so i like to you know get my skin really dried out and then i just bring it back to life with the olive air and with the mario Badescu. and then i moisturize all over my face with this cetaphil moisturizing lotion i put that all over the face and then i use a lot of stuff now that i'm pulling it all out <laughs> then i get the ponds uh dark spot correcting cream and i just put that like on my cheeks area because this is where i get like the most breakouts at i don't break out really on my forehead unless unless i'm just eating like so much junk food like it's gonna like show on my forehead but usually i try to keep it the junk food not still eat a lot of junk food let me stop but it just i just don't get it on my forehead like that but um i get it on my cheeks a lot so i like to get this and i put it only on my cheeks just so that it like clear any dark spots I have or any imperfections and stuff like that. La Lastly, I like to use the Shea Moisture Soothing Eye Cream. Yeah, and then I just, lastly, just put this little lip serum on my lips, and which I need some right now because my lips are a little dried out. But, yeah. So, um, basically, yeah, let's just get started. I don't even know what else I'm talking about now. So I'm going to put on this primer and um, I used this in my last video. I think I used this in my last video. But, um, oh yeah, I did. But um, I'm going to use this NYX Hydra Touch Primer and this is um, Touch Dehydration Base. I don't know. But it's just a NYX Primer. It's supposed to be for hydration. Um, I feel like my face is already kind of like a little like glowy slash oily whenever I moisturize my face with my regular stuff. So I don't really see a difference when I use this. But I just like to be extra and do that extra step for no reason i don't know why i'm not gonna put it on my forehead though because my forehead gets super duper 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 shiny so i'm not even about to bother my forehead um i try to put well lately i've been noticing that i should put less product on my forehead so i've been trying to do that lately because i already got a big forehead and so when it just stick out and then it's just shining it's just too much going on so <laughs> i try not to put so much moisturizer on my forehead i hope that you guys can see because i have my ring light right here 
and then I have like this where my, where my camera's on it's like a little baby ring light so it's I don't know and then I have like my outside window open so I'm using like mostly natural lighting on this side and then I'm using my ring light on this side so I don't know it's not as bright as usually is um usually at nighttime when I turn my ring light on that's when it gets super duper bright but um hopefully this isn't a bad lighting for you because I'm trying to like stay close and stuff so that you guys can see what I'm doing but yeah so um I haven't used this in a long time like a year honestly but this is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Liquid Glow Illuminizer it's all dirty so most of my makeup is dirty so whenever I put it up it's gonna be dirty it's just because when I put them all inside the back together sometimes something will be open or it's usually like um eyeliner or something that gets all over the place or some concealer it's just always something so my makeup packaging does not be looking the best I'm gonna put this on my little highlighted points, the points where I know I'm gonna wanna glow. Ah. Oh, and this hair that I have on, this is the hair from um that one video where I said I made my first wig. This is that same hair, but in that video I had it straight, and I've always been wearing it straight. But I don't like the way it looks straight because it's more stiff when it's straight. Because um, I don't think this hair is meant to be straight. I think it's, because when I bought it, I think it was body wave or loose wave or something like that when I bought it. And I've been trying to straighten it. It's harder to straighten um, loose wave or body wave hair for me. Just because I don't know if it's my flat iron or my technique or what. But to me, it's when it's when you straighten like hair that's not that doesn't already come straight is it looks more like poopy like it's harder I guess you got to run through it a few times to get it to like um, be more trained to straight hair I don't know but yeah it just wasn't working like that so lately I've been wearing it it's wet right now because I just wet it but when it dries it dries a lot more like wavy it doesn't get curly but it gets like kind of like a nice wave to it so um, I'm just letting it dry right now I'm still trying to figure out how to work the top and how to work the frontal part and like get it to look more like it grew out my scalp. I'm still working on that part, but you know, I'm getting there, you know, trial and error phase. That's what I'm going through right now. So, yep. And honestly, whenever I use foundation on my face, I don't be liking the way it come out because it always just looks like it's, um, it looks like it's, um, too cakey i cannot talk to it it looks like it's too cakey so um what i like to do my favorite favorite go-to things to do is the la girl pro concealer so this one i got is in almond and it's too dark for me as you can see it's a shade darker than my skin and this one is what i use under my eyes and it's probably like my perfect skin shade or like probably like one shade lighter if that so um and this one is in medium beige so i like to just put the darker one like around my cheeks area top of my forehead and then the lighter one i'll put in the highlighted areas like concealer so i use the darker one as the foundation part and the lighter one as concealer and then just mix it both together both the colors together and it comes out to a perfect looking shade I'm about to just let this sit for a little bit while I'm doing my eyebrows. I'm so mad because I lost my eyebrow pencil. I had this NYX eyebrow pencil and I lost it and I'm mad because I love using it because it just makes my eyebrows so perfect and precise. So, I already know I'm going to find it after this video too. I did this eyebrow way too thick, but I'm going to fix it. First, I'm going to blend out this concealer because I be getting nervous when I let it sit for too long. So, let me blend this on out. Oh, wait. Hold on. I think I did it a little too dark. I'm going to have to put a little bit of, of um, lighter concealer on to even out. I put too much of the almond color, which I say was too dark for my skin tone. So, let me fix that. So, I'm going to use this NARS concealer in macadamia.
now I'm going to set the concealer with my powder and then I'm going to go in and finish my eyebrows. I just had to take a quick pause to fix the concealer quickly and then I'm going to go back and focus on these, okay? So, I honestly don't bake on my eyes, I mean on my face, but I think I'm going to do it today. Just because it looks cool. Okay, I really don't know what I did to my eyebrows. Like, they looking real dark. Like, I don't know. I, I can wipe them off. Yeah, I'm going to wipe my eyebrows off and I'm going to do them over and then I'll come back and show you guys what they look like. Okay, so I ended up just brushing my eyebrows with gel because, I don't know, something's wrong with the powder today or something's wrong with my hands. I don't know, but it's just not working out. So I ended up just getting the gel, brushing my eyebrows into the shape that I want them, and this is how they end up. So yeah, so we're just going to leave it like that. Um, next, what am I going to do? I'm really thinking, should I do some eyeshadow? Do you guys think I should? Um, I'm nervous. I, don't, I just don't want to mess up my eyes. Like, I don't want to mess up my whole look. That's pretty. Should I? Okay, I'll do a little bit. Okay, so I tried the little eyeshadow look and it just didn't work out. I mean, it it looked like it had potential, but it was like, now you need some more practice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to practice some more and then I'm going to come on here and I'm going to do an eyeshadow look for you guys. I just got to get it down. I got to, you know, because I'm such a perfectionist, so I like everything to be perfect. And if I see it's not coming perfect, then... Um, yeah, it's just not gonna work for me. So, um, I'll try to make another video after I practice and do like some learning on how to do some good eyeshadow, you know, like the cut creases and all that stuff. Then I'll come back and I'll do a whole tutorial. I'm gonna learn before Valentine's Day. I'm gonna do a whole tutorial on how to do like a Valentine's Day look because since this is all like pinky looks, it looks like Valentine's Day. So, I'm gonna learn and I'm gonna come back. So, for today, I'm gonna do like a little basic look, you know, it's okay. You're still cute and you're basic, so it's fine. Um, so what do I have to do now? I did my little eyebrows, did everything else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my eyeliner and my uh, mascara and all that stuff. So, yeah. So I think I'm going to do this white uh, eyeliner today. I never do white eyeliner. I've tried it before. I did it. Well, I used to do it, but, like, I haven't did it in a long time. So I'm going to try to do that now. Um... Yeah, let's just see how this comes out. <laughs> what am I doing? I look like a complete fool right now. Let me, yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to be exploring too much stuff in this little get ready with me. This makes my eyes look so big. Like, I don't know if I'm going to keep this on. I don't know how I feel about this. I'm going to wait to the end, and then if not, I'm going to put my black regular eyeliner on, but I don't know. So, um, I'm using these Eyelore Lashes. I've been using these for the past few days now, um, ooh, and I really like them. They're super cute. Let me show you guys them. Oh, wait. Which one are they? Ooh, which are they? Oh, I think they're these ones right here. 
So these are what they look like. What is these the eyelashes? Hold up. Oh. This one and this one. Okay. So this is what they look like. They're not as long as I want them because I really like them long ghetto eyelashes, but it's cool. They're still cute for like a little natural look. So I have another video also that I'm about to put out probably either today or tomorrow. And um, it's all about my vision board. If you guys make vision boards, then yes. Um, so yeah, I made a vision board. Well, I'm in the process of making a vision board. I haven't finished yet. I started it yesterday. So I'm going to try to finish it today and try to get the video out today or I'm going to film it tomorrow. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. But um, basically the video is just going to be on my vision board showing like my things that I put on there, why I made the vision board, um, like why I'm into that kind of stuff and what are my goals for 2019. It's just going to be like one whole big video because at first I was going to separate my goals video and then just do a small little video on my vision board but i said i might as well just put that all into one video so yeah i'm gonna make one video and um you know all the goals that i am going to manifest because you know you're supposed to speak everything into existence and instead of saying that you want to do something you're supposed to say that you're going to do something so that it can speak so that it can be spoken into existence and that your vibrations can connect just so all this stuff can just work together and mesh together and it'll happen for you so um yeah basically that's what i'm doing Well, these are so cute. I love these lashes. And I'm so glad that they say reusable on them. Because I reuse any of my lashes, even if they're, like, the one-time wears. Like, even, like, the little cheap beauty supply earrings. I mean, um, eyelashes. I reuse... Oh, what did I just do? Oh, I can't never keep nothing clean. I just... I don't know what I did or how I did it. I think my nail... I don't know what I just did, but I can't keep nothing clean. But, um... Even like the little cheap eyelashes, I, re I will rewear those for like a whole week. You just have to take care of them. Just make sure you take them off, um, take them off neatly and then make sure like you don't wet them. Because when you wet them in a the shower, that's usually when they get messed up. So that's what you just want to try not to wet them in a the shower or um, try to take them off without using water or oil. So, ooh. So yeah, but I'm glad I got finally some reusable ones so that I know that they're going to stay in place for a while. And they were only ten dollars at um, Target. Yeah, they were only ten dollars at Target. And I always think that the reusable ones they are going to be like twenty dollar and up eyelashes. But since they were only ten dollars, I feel like that's good because as much and as often as I buy eyelashes, it's good to get ten dollar reusable lashes that I can wear for like two weeks straight. So that's going to be like a bunch of wears out of these eyelashes and I don't know I just feel like it's a pretty good deal but um oh my eyeball I just oh lord oh I'm loving these eyelashes there's like eyelashes just bring you to life like it just gives you that that mm, look okay so um <clears throat> now I'm about to do my highlighter and I think I'm gonna be done after that because I don't do oh my lips and my highlighter and then I'll be done with my makeup look I could literally sit and do makeup all day. It's just so relaxing to me. You know how everybody has like that woo thing that they do? The thing that just keeps them calm and keeps them focused? Makeup is something that keeps me calm and focused. Or doing my hair. Most of the time doing my hair keeps me calm and focused. Unless it's like not working out for me. Then it makes me irritated. But I mean most of the time it just keeps me nice and calm. So... I like to spray a lot of the Mario Badescu spray on me as I'm doing my makeup just because my makeup tends to start looking cakey to me if I put on a lot of makeup. Like usually I don't wear a lot of makeup like this but the days that I do like for this video then um, it starts looking cakey so I like to keep putting on the Mario Badescu because like I said it kind of like moisturizes my face and keeps me like hydrated looking and more like dewy so I like doing that and um also you know you want to like have like a wet face for when you put your highlighter on and you guys so I got this Fenty highlighter you guys 
this is really bomb like i always see people use it on youtube and i think that like it looks cute but it doesn't look like standout ish but when you're in the sun with this it just looks like a whole bunch of like crystals just a whole bunch of crystals all over your face so um yeah i love this stuff and i'm about to put this on now you know i'm about to go crazy with the highlighter i'm gonna put a little bit of setting spray on also a lot of it Okay, I just went crazy with this highlighter, but it's just so pretty, especially if I take pictures in the sun or something or outside water. I feel like, what? <laughs> especially if I take pictures in the sun or in outside weather, I feel like this highlighter will be so bomb. So I really hope that I still either have it in the summertime or um, that I'll just, if not, I'll just buy another one in the summertime because this is that bomb. Like, I feel like it needs to be in that summertime weather. So I really cannot wait till spring or summer so that I can be highlighted all day long. So, um, yeah, now I'm about to do my lips. I think I want to go for more of a, since I have, like, a lot of shiny stuff going on. I usually, I'm talking too fast. What are you doing, Crystal? Okay, so usually, um, whenever I have on makeup or anything, I like to go for a glossy look because I feel like glossy look, it just makes you look more dewy, more clean, more just pretty. So, um, but then again, I do, like, matte looks. So, I feel like since I put on so much highlighter, I should just do, like, a matte lip because this matte lip is, like, my favorite matte lip. It just looks so cute because it's, like, a nude, but at the same time, it's really matte, so it just gives you that mm, look like that. So, um, yeah, I'm going to do my little matte lips today. I'm going to moisturize first with the lip conditioning just because um, matte lipstick tends to, you know, dry your lips out, so I'm not trying to have that. Okay, so what I did is I mixed this eyeliner. This is a taupe eyeliner um, by Jordana. It's the Beauty Supply Eyeliners. Everybody has one of these. Um, and then this one is a lip color in the color Tulip Tree. And it's by Nikak or something. I don't know. But, um, yeah, this is my favorite combo whenever I want to go for, like, a matte look. So, yeah this is basically the completed look i just want to spray a little setting spray on just to keep it all in place all day even though i'm not going nowhere so i'm just going to take some pictures but i just want to keep the look in place all right you guys so this is the finishing look my room looks a hot mess in the background i didn't even know i'm so embarrassed okay you guys see so yeah, as this is the finishing look for my makeup look um 
I did my basic makeup look that I always do. I just added like a little bit more. Today I did the white eyeliner, which I don't ever do. And I do matte lips, but I only do it when I'm going out. But, you know, I did it today just for a regular day. And, um, yeah, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this makeup look. Let me know if you guys want me to try out, like, doing different eyeshadow looks. Because I am, like, going to be practicing um, how to do, like, different eyeshadow looks and how to make it look perfect how to you know i'm about to i'm trying to like perfect my craft so um yeah let me know how you guys if you guys want to see me try to attempt to you know i'm not gonna do any tutorials but try to attempt doing videos of me doing my eyeshadow and like so you guys can see my process as i learn and as i get better and things like that so um yeah let me know if you guys want to see that other than that thank you guys for watching this video i hope that you guys enjoy and i will see you guys next time Bye. baby i didn't really know about you first you caught my attention how did i forget to mention